Take a look at this unusual little camera. This is the Hasselblad Super Wide Camera, or the SWC, which was introduced by Hasselblad in 1954 as a wide angle camera using the Carl Zeiss Biogon 38mm f4.5 lens and built in levels for exacting architecture photography. Of all the cameras in the Hasselblad V system, the SWC is in a unique position, being the only model that is not a single reflex camera. The reason is the famous lens, the Zeiss Biogon 38mm. The symmetrical design and very short focal length of this lens leaves no room for a viewfinder mirror between the rear of the lens and the film. Instead of being attached to a single lens, lens reflex camera body, the lens is permanently attached to the short and very robust die cast metal housing. I've had this camera in my possession for close to a decade. I have never used it. It was when I was cleaning out my office I stumbled upon it again and I thought it was about time that I tried it. The first thing I decided to do was try to find a user manual. After some googling I stumbled upon a copy of the original manual from 1954. And much to my surprise, the camera is a lot easier to use than it looks. I assumed a tripod, a tape measure etc would be needed, but no. The manual states that the fast lens plus the level control enable you to take snapshots with the camera held in your hand. So basically the way that you use this camera is that you look through, or well, you hold the camera in your hand and you look through the prism viewfinder and to make sure everything's level, there is a, a spirit level there next to this, the viewfinder. And on the left hand side of the viewfinder is a mirror that looks directly down at the spirit level. So it's a, actually an extremely difficult way to compose images, but, um, but it seems to work. And of course the camera uses 120 film, medium format, and here I am loading it with some Fuji 400H, which I'm going to take for a, and then I'm going to take the camera uh, for a walk around Reykjavik and take some photographs and see how they turn out. And for those of you who don't know, uh, Fuji 400H has actually been discontinued by Fuji, so these are some of my last rolls and it's one of my favorite films, so I'm hoping it's worth it. But it's a Hasselblad camera and I suspected that it would be fine. So please enjoy the rest of the video.